wagon trains. They they bring their food in with them. They cook up this. It is amazing. There's the pots that you'll see the stuff cooked in. There it is. Hey, you doing, guy? We getting ready for the big show? I'm trying to. Thank you, sir. I remember you from last. I know. That's why we came to talk to you. So tell everybody what is going on this weekend. It's the Chuck Wagon Cookoff at uh, noon tomorrow. Now you don't serve breakfast because people ask this. No. It is strictly lunch. Strictly lunch. How do they get tickets? Uh, either online or the here in the morning they'll have a table set up with tickets here. And in it the is morning. limited. Yes. And that's what yes. people have to know. It's not. It's it, when it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. That's it. And it doesn't last long. No. It's. I would say 80% of the tickets have already been sold, maybe more. Maybe more. Yes. So if you haven't gotten your ticket, you probably better get online. What is the website? Something, Pigeon Forge Tourism. Okay. I believe is something with that. I, I and don't think it's the that. chuck wagon. Cooking. Yeah, it's, it'll be on the very front page there. You can't right. miss it. You're all set. Looks like you got everything all. Yeah. We're ready to go in the morning. Okay. How often do you do this? Uh, this particular a competition this is the only one we do. This is it. Now there are others that actually travel the circuit, don't they? Yes, but everything's out west. There's right. one, this is the only one in the eastern. United do you do States. the one out west? No. No. Not. That's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a long way to travel. I, I'm sure. So, I'm sure. We do you, some weddings and other which events. Is great. A, what a wedding that would be. Yeah. <laughs> Very unforgettable. But this is the only competition that we do. Really? Yeah. We usually do pretty well. We'll see. That, oh, you've got great <laughs> food here. And this we'll is see. your menu here, right? Yes. We just got our food. So there's going to be chicken fried steaks, scalloped potatoes, pintos biscuits, and what is Mexican that? Cornbread. Mexican cornbread. What's the? We just got the food, so we'll have an uh, apple cobbler. A complete meal? Yes. Complete meal, beginning at 12 noon tomorrow. That's correct. And a lot of people show up here. Yes. Each wagon cooks for 60 people, and there's nine wagons. So. There's plenty of food, but it goes quick. Yeah. Is there ever any leftovers? Very rarely. Very rarely, yeah. <laughs> people always scrounging around like at 3 o'clock. It's gone. Yeah. Oh, it'll be gone by 12.30. Yeah. 12.45. <laughs> so I need so. to be here at 6 a.m. probably to help you cook. Pretty early. <laughs> Start up some beans and stuff there like you go. that. How do you make your chili? Uh, we'll just have pinto beans. We won't pinto beans. You're not chili. doing a chili? No. Does anyone else have chili or? Mm, I couldn't tell you for sure, but I don't think so. No. no. I think most everybody just does straight beans. And it's always tasty. And you can't ask for more right out of a, you've got the cast iron pot. Yep. Right? And it's cooked there for how many hours? Uh, about five hours. You know it's in good. The, in the pot there. And it smells, you could smell this all up and down the street. You will tomorrow. Oh, yeah. If I it remember. doesn't storm like it did last year. Oh, I remember that. I came out here in the rain with you. I felt yes. so bad. No, it's going to be absolutely beautiful tomorrow. That's what they're saying. Beautiful weather. This is the type of weather to come on out here. And you guys will be on display the whole day. Yes. But the food will be gone. Unless you sell hot dogs or something. Yeah. We'll be wore out by then. So. I bet you're right. When do you start cooking? Uh, about daylight in the morning. That early? Yes. To get the beans going and right. the fire going to burn down some coals. That's a long day for you guys. Yes. Where do you go from here? Um, we will clean up tomorrow afternoon, and then we're actually cooking the breakfast at Stages West on Sunday morning. Are you really? As well. Now, is that something that the public can get involved with? Yes. There's tickets. Same website. There's tickets there. They have a, there'll be church at Stages West store at 10 o'clock Sunday morning. Very good. You don't have very far to go. No, thank goodness. That's not right. <laughs> yeah. Do you pack it all up, or you just yeah. wheel it down there? No, we'll put it in a trailer. You put it in the, you just yeah. hook it up to the back of the car and <laughs> drag it down the street. So, but yeah, we'll take over there and be set up. There, so very important. Thank you for talking with me. You're welcome. Appreciate that. Thank you. See you tomorrow morning. See you. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Looking forward to the food and all the cool stuff. Look at this. It's amazing. This is great. This is great. Look at this. As if they live in the 1800s. Here it is. Their Bible, pictures of their kids. They're rubbing alcohol. I don't know what that other stuff is. 
There's their barrels full of whatever they, they carry, whatever they can get. Usually the basics, you know, beans, sugar, flour, the things you need just to survive. Isn't this amazing? And most of this stuff is authentic, like the knives and the forks. This is all authentic. They keep their basic medicines, the things that they absolutely need. And look how the campsite is set up. Look at that. There's the big old pot he'll be cooking in. And there's cowboy coffee. That's cowboy coffee. One glass of that the whole day long. You don't need anything. Now, who are you? You do this? Yes. Tell us all about it. Oh Lord, uh, this is my first year. I don't know very much. So uh, are you I'm, excited? I am very excited. And uh, have you done any of these ever before? I have, well, not a competition. But not I have, a competition. I have cooked in Dutch oven before. So, all right. You know, it's a challenge, isn't it? It is. Very much it's so. not like going home, turn on the stove. You no. regulate temperature a whole lot better with an oven than you do yeah. with a fire. So. <laughs> that's very true. Yeah. You but can burn a, it or not cook it enough. Or, yeah, that's right. Or the, the wind can pick up, and the next thing you know, you're Burn everything. So everything is burnt. So how do you control that if the wind kicks up? You, you block to, it? You just have to watch it. Yeah. Yeah, you keep your eye on it. Right. So you're going to start early in the morning, yeah, I'm so assuming. We're here at 4 o'clock. Right? 4 o'clock in the morning. The sun isn't even up. I'm not even nearly up. Right. Very good. Yeah. And then you'll be ready for your first competition. Yeah. You must be excited. Yeah, absolutely. Very absolutely. good. I wish you a lot of luck. Thanks, sir. Very good. Thank you'll you. see us all here tomorrow. Here's awesome. Here. Here's our card. Check yourself out. Awesome. Thank Thanks. Thanks. Oh, let me check out. This is where you go to jail. Now, if you're a bad boy, Pigeon Forge, this is where you go to jail. The U.S. Marshal will throw you in here. You will be a spectacle. You will be a spectacle for sure. This is the jail. It's based on an authentic... Uh, I'm trying to remember my history. I think this wagon is authentic. Uh, the jail, of course, the bars have been redone. But this is how they drag you through the streets if you did bad things. Hey guys, doing good. Are you all set for tomorrow's competition? Is the boss? I guess he is. Nah, ain't the boss. They're going to be on vacation station TV. Oh, okay. So tell us what you do here. Uh, I am over the wagon competition. Okay, so to make sure that the wagons are judged fairly and the food is judged fairly. Now, how do they judge the wagon? Authenticity. Okay, authenticity. Uh, basically, that's it. Trail drive, authenticity. And how authentic do they have to be? Pretty much authentic. If you'll walk down through here and look, they're all pretty much authentic. The way it was in the 1800s. The way it was in 1860s. 1860. 1866 was the first cattle drive out of Texas. And when did they come through here, if ever? Through Georgia, never, that never. I know of. They didn't make it across that way. No. Uh, the original cattle drives started in Florida, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. That's where a lot, a lot of people don't realize that Florida has a lot of cattle. They have a lot of cattle. Well, the Spaniards brought cattle into Florida, mm -hmm. and they started multiplying, and just like the Longhorns. Yeah. They started multiplying out of Mexico and moved north. Went, went north. Yeah. And into Texas, and they had a lot of Longhorn steers. A lot of people don't realize this. They so don't realize it, but they, there's a lot of cattle in uh, Florida. People don't realize that. I lived, when I lived in, in, I was in the Dade City area, and my property was up against 648 acres of just cattle property. Yeah. Just that. Yeah. And I kept seeing all those longhorn steers. Mm -hmm. and, Where are all these cows coming from? What the heck? And they were everywhere. And the guy goes, yeah. this, it's the cattle capital. Yeah. He, everyone thinks you go to Texas. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Guess again. Well, that's where the Longhorns originally came from. Right, but they moved Mexico and Texas. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's a good business. It's too. a good business. But the Rizzo Cattle Drives, they started actually in uh, Kissimmee. 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 And they went to the Gulf Coast. I cannot remember the name of the port, but they were shipping the cattle to Cuba. Really? Yeah, I didn't know that. And that was the first cattle drive. That was it. That was it. Because the cattle were just running wild in the, they were in the bush. They were everywhere. Oh, yeah, they were everywhere. And they found out, you know, you, you take them over to the port something, I can't remember the name of it. I don't even think it's there anymore. <laughs> I think it was. Uh, I know it was a pretty long trail drive, but they were shipping the cattle to Cuba. 
very cool. Now you're going to be judging them. No, I had. I'm in charge of the judges. I had two judges that judged this afternoon. Judge the wagons and their sport. And that's right down to the screws, the square nails. It's got yes. to be the way it was. Yes, right. Now, Stop do the they thing. have to have them blacksmith? I'm assuming you can't buy them at Home Depot. No, but you screws can buy square washer. I mean, square nuts. And they're okay. They're okay. Square nuts. They have square nuts. They have straight mm -hmm. blade screws. No Phillips screws. No, they didn't. No that force didn't drives and stuff like that. No. Uh, you know, and really, it's hard to find a good wagon now. To start building a tub wagon. I bet it is very difficult. It's very, parts very, are very rare. It's uh, hard to get anything original. Anymore. You can find a lot of parts, but it's hard to find a good original wagon to start with. And if they're real good, they're usually in a museum, right? <laughs> <laughs> or in somebody's collection, yeah, you know, and they're yep. not going to take them out of there. That's true. Very true. And your name is? Grumpy. Hi, Grumpy. <laughs> you don't look grumpy to me. Seems like a nice I'm guy. not. My granddaughter <laughs> My gr granddaughter started calling me Grump. Yeah, nice guy. And nice. when I got my wagon and started restoring it, she, I asked her, I said, darling, what are we going to call the wagon? And she said, well, Grumpy's Grub, of course. Perfect name. And it stuck. Grumpy's Grub. <laughs> Are you cooking in this competition? No, I'm not. Uh, my team is here, okay. and my wagon is here. They're cooking off of it, but you I don't. Know? I don't have anything to do with it. It's, it's them. You know, it's my the, whole team. You just be grumpy with them. I'm yeah. just being grumpy with them. <laughs> Thank you for talking. To me. Thank you. Thanks. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. The running gear of that wagon is 1880. I thought from last year. I remember, I think I talked to you. That is an original yeah. wagon, but not the bottom. No, that's not the top. But the bottom this, is original. This the bottom or yellow part. Uh, this is and it, you obviously roll it around. It still can roll. It rolls on, on a trailer and rolls off. Rolls off, yeah. No, Let no, it have no. it in a parade. It, it, yeah, take it in a parade? Parade in a parade. On, on its wheels. Oh, yeah. yeah. It but, still rolls good. Yeah, it, it rolls good, yeah. Well, it's rough. No spray. Oh, oh, no. I can imagine being in the back of the kitchen. Yeah. Quick. It is really rough ride. That's why you see most everybody walking going that was going well. Yeah, it was, it was rough. I thought it was, oh, let's go in the wagon. No, it's not going to. You feel every rock in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, this gravel be rough. Oh, it Thank you. Thank you. See you guys tomorrow morning, too. <laughs> now, of course, there's stuff you can buy, and a lot of the stuff is the authentic style of clothes. Sure. Look at this duster. Look at this. Beautiful duster. That's nice. It's heavy. Heavy um, type of cotton. What do they call that? Old West. And it's only 75 bucks. Look at that. And I mean, this is handmade. This is all hand. They have all the clothes that you'd need to be part of that time if you want to. Chuck Wagon Cook-Off. Oh, look, somebody's preparing something right now as we speak. I know, this guy. I know you too. How <laughs> you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, I, all you guys, I know all your faces. You're getting ready. Now, this is not for the competition. This is just to eat. No, this is no. For, we're prepping for tomorrow's Are you really? competition. Absolutely. How do you not eat that? Well, well I was. We don't, we don't cook it. Oh, you didn't eat it. Right. There you go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm now, of course, no this is secret. No. Nope. Okay. You're supposed to see it. He's got it, he's got it, and I've got it. So, it so it's secret. not a secret anymore. Right? <laughs> you good, Mitch? Yeah. And those will cure overnight. Yep. And what time do we get up and start cooking? Uh, we'll be here. We'll be here by before six. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We should be. <laughs> And is there a lot of that cowboy drink going on here? There, no, a little bit. Yeah, pretty a little good. Bit. You ready for a cold beer? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm working right now. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. So am I. Uh, so, oh, yeah, a whole bottle, right? Here. I'm working too, so I'm drinking whiskey. <laughs> Man, you are, aren't you? These guys are the real deal. That's what you're talking about. We've been, we've been told that in uh, Here you go. Wait, let me see, let me see, let me see. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, who made that? I didn't make that. Uh, oh. <laughs> Painter. <laughs> Painter Distillery made that. Painted Distillery. You know what? That's what always gets me in them Western movies. 
they take a big shot of that old rot gut whiskey they used to have back then, and they just, and, and it's tea, mm -hmm. I know, and, yeah, of but they would at least act like it had a little bite to it. Yeah, yeah, right. They, just, they ain't drink her and just act like they're drinking water. No, and it, it, I'm sure it wasn't Whiskey's got to have a little bit of bite. But I'm sure the old stuff had a bite. Where's your assistant? Uh, at work right now. Okay. We'll be here tomorrow morning. But I uh, wanted to get this up now. I was, I was looking at something the other day. And that video you done last year, yes. when I was sitting here talking to yeah, you. Yeah, and you can talk. You got some stories. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got some stories. But, uh, yeah, and I watched that again. That's pretty well, cool. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Will it come up on YouTube? Oh, Just out of the blue. It should. <laughs> yeah. Now, this one will, too. Very good, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Hey, all right. Thank you, Thanks. brother. Thank you. Have fun. Yeah. We all got it all going. There's that definite campfire smell. I love it. Look how nice this is set up. Look at this. Now there's lots of them here. I won't be able to put them all on video, but look at these these kettles that they have the cast iron pots. They got their lanterns. I mean, they do it real. They, it's as if you were in the 1800s. <laughs> Eat at your own risk. <laughs> I should be hanging that. That should be hung in my kitchen. <laughs> Look at that. This is the real deal, folks. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. This is a fun thing to do. Uh, if you want to check out our other video from last year, did a lot of interviews, of course, and I've been following them around. He's got his saddle here, his six gun. Look at that. Got everything. I love the wagons. I love the wagons. Look at that. They got all like the medicines and the bottles. That's amazing. I need to get a shot of that. People give you the website here so you can check it out. There it is, the website. American Chuck Wagon Association. We've got everything all ready to go. This is a fun competition, and everybody who is involved is dressed in the garb of the 1800s. It is amazing. Look at this thing. I'd like to have one of these in the front yard. Absolutely beautiful. And another, as a side note, I can't remember their names, but the, the ladies here, I can't remember what they call, have all these authentic travel trailers. These are old travel trailers, completely restored. Some might be original. Um, maybe I'll talk to them tomorrow. But look, this is how RVers, I could see Jeff and Tootsie camping in that. Tootsie would love that. Isn't that amazing? I had an old Shasta. A 16-foot Shasta. I don't know. I think I gave it away to somebody. Isn't that great? Oh, good. I need to talk to the lady. Hello, girls. How are you? Can you give me some cards? I'm doing better than bad. Yes. I want. Oh, don't. Worry. No, I want you like this. Hey, look. Oh, now you got a smile. Oh, say hello. Hand those out when you get them all out. You're on Vacation Station TV. Station TV. 
Now tell me, I can't remember the name of your group, but you ladies have these trailers and you travel all around. What is the name of the group? Sisters on the Fly. That's it, Sisters on yes. a Fly. You travel with the Chuck Wagon group or you guys go everywhere? No. No, they follow us. They follow no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are all over the country. We're not associated with them. Okay. We're just on this side for this weekend. And why did you pick this place this weekend? They've been doing this for how many years? This is like 12 years. The sisters yeah. on the fly have been invited to come up with the chuck really? wagon. Yeah. Because they open the chuck wagons up to the public, so when the, the public goes goes through the chuck wagons, then they come over here and go through our uh, antique campers. So I think if the city invites us. Yes. Yeah. yeah, because it's an event, and they, they like having the vintage campers here with the chuck wagon. It's a great wagon. idea. Mm -hmm. Absolutely mm -hmm. great idea. Now, these are all authentic. Mm -hmm. yes. How many of them are original? This one is original. What year is it? 1970. That's so cool. I had a Shasta from the 60s. I gave it away. That was stupid. And it was in mint condition. I just oh. couldn't take it with me. Oh. And, it was, and it had the birch interior. Oh. The birch wood interior. Oh, wow. The original be beds and chairs. Uh, yeah. Who would have known? I gave it to somebody. I can't tell oh, that with wow. me. I'm leaving the state. I wish I would have kept it. Now, you, how far do you travel? There's really, hours. there's really no. I mean, to this event, I drove four hours. Where and how far through the country do you go? Oh, we just go wherever we want to go. We, there's no limitation. Now you're a group. Yeah, but there, there's, there's twenty. We just had our twenty thousand new member. We've got twenty thousand. Twenty thousand yeah. people. I don't think everybody's active, nationwide. but yeah, nationwide. it's nationwide. And you, do you ever get together in one place? Yes. Yes, Where we is did that? that. That was started two years ago in Gonzales, Texas. Texas. For the 20th anniversary of the group. Well, then there were 600 campers down there. 600 antique campers. 600 women. Even, Wh even women. better. 600 even women in one no spot. I should have been the only man there. <laughs> no. no. That's no. the role. No, that's no. our role. That, no, no men man. and no kids allowed. Chuck Wagon Cook-Off. How you doing? So this is where it's going to be tomorrow at noon. You got to go online to get the tickets. I just showed you the website. All you gotta do is go there, pick it up. I saw this, I didn't remember seeing this one, but this is another nice duster. Look at this. This one's waterproof. 75 bucks. You can't go wrong. Not for that. Holy mackerel. Oh, I gotta get this. <laughs> You're in jail. She's gonna be on Guess TV. What, what it, I'm a happy, I'm a happy bandage? jail person. You're happy, and you got yeah. the, the, the ball the and chain? The ball and chain here too, yeah. What, what bad things did you do? Oh, unmentionable. Un really that bad? You you bought too many items at Kroger? Yeah, Something like Walmart. that. Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> took money out of the husband's back pocket. Oh, yeah. I'm used to that. That's I know just, you know how that is. Oh, that's why I put it in the front Honey, pocket. I only took a 20. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, put, so, you put the loose change in the back, the good stuff in the front. You never miss anything. Thanks, girls. This is These people, they're fun people. These are fun folk, and that's why I like them so much. Come out here tomorrow before noon. Noon it starts. Wave to the camera. See you tomorrow, guy. And there it is. Chuck Wagon Cook-Off. Tomorrow. Right here in Pigeon Forge on Wares Valley Road. Clayball's Campground. Let me see that. There it is. Clayball's Campground. Chuck Wagon Cook-Off. Fun place. Even, look, even if you get here after the food is gone, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Still tour, check out the wagons, bring the kids, bring the grandkids, and uh, enjoy this. It's going back to the 1860s. It's just too cool. Thanks for joining us on Vacation Station TV, your virtual getaway. And we'll see you very, very soon.